is number 171. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Creator of the stars of night, your people's everlasting light, O Christ, Redeemer, save us all. And hear your servants when they call. In pity, lest the ancient curse should doom to death a universe. O Lord, you came in truth and grace to save and heal a ruined race. You came, the bridegroom of the bride, as drew the world to evening tide. Proceeding from a virgin shrine, the spotless victim all divine. At whose high name majestic now, all knees must bend, all hearts must bow. And things celestial you shall own, and things terrestrial, Lord alone. O thou whose coming is with dread, to judge the living and the dead. Preserve us while we dwell below from every insult of the foe. To God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit, three in one, Lord, honor, might, and glory be from age to age eternally. shall come and worship you. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered. You increased the strength of my soul. All earth's kings shall thank you when they hear the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the Lord's ways. How great is the glory of the Lord. The Lord is high, yet he looks on the lowly. And the Lord he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of affliction, you give me life and frustrate my foes. You stretch out your hand and save me. Your hand will do all things for me. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. All nations shall come and worship you. has known the mind of the Lord. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. 
you mark when I walk or lie down. All my ways lie open to you. Before ever a word is on my tongue, you know it, O Lord, through and through. Behind and before you beseech me, your hand ever laid upon me. Too wonderful for me this knowledge, too high beyond my reach. Oh, where can I go from your spirit, or where can I flee from your face? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn, and dwell at the sea's furthest end, even there your hand would lead me, your right hand would hold me fast. If I say, let the darkness hide me, and the light around me be night, even darkness is not dark for you, and the night is as clear as the day. For it was you who created my being, Knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all your creation. Already you knew my soul, my body held no secret from you. When I was being fashioned in secret, and molded in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw all my actions, they were all of them written in your book. <clears throat> Every one of my days was decreed, before one of them came into being. To me how mysterious your thoughts, the sum of them not to be numbered. If I count them, they are more than the sand. To finish, I must be eternal like you. O oh God, that you would slay the wicked. Men of blood, keep far away from me. With deceit, they rebel against you. And set your designs at naught. Do I not hate those who hate you? Abhor those who rise against you? I hate them with a perfect hate, and they are foes to me. O oh, search me, God, and know my heart. O oh, test me and know my thoughts. See that I follow not the wrong path, and lead me in the path of life eternal. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Who has known the mind of the Lord? He has put down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. We give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks and call upon your name. We recount your wonderful deeds. When I reach the appointed time, then I will judge with justice. Though the earth and all who dwell in it may rock, it is I who uphold its pillars. To the boastful I say, do not boast. To the wicked, do not flaunt your strength. Do not flaunt your strength on high. Do not speak with insolent pride. For neither from the east nor from the west nor from desert or mountains comes judgment. But God himself is the judge. One he humbles, another he exalts. The Lord holds a cup in his hand, full of wine, bony, and spice. He pours it, they drink it to the dregs. 
All the wicked on the earth must drain it. As for me, I will rejoice forever and sing psalms to Jacob's God. He shall break the power of the wicked while the strength of the just shall be exalted. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath and the moment to judge the dead. The time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now of salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. Or the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who lives, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty. the letter of St. James. Be patient, my brothers, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer awaits the precious yield of the soil. He looks forward to it patiently while the soil receives the winter and the spring rains. You too must be patient. Steady your hearts because the coming of the Lord is at hand. Do not grumble against one another, my brothers, lest you be condemned. See, the judge stands at the gate. As your models in suffering, hardships, and impatience, brothers, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Those who have endured, we call blessed. You have heard of the steadfastness of Job, and have seen what the Lord who is compassionate and merciful, did in the end. Quipos me venit 
an dem Efaktus erst, cuius non sum dignus, calce amenda solvere. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him. In every generation, he has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Qui vos me veni, ande me factus est, cuius non sum dignus, carce amenda solvere. To Christ our Lord, who humbled himself for our sake, we joyfully sing. Lord Jesus, by your coming you rescued the world from sin. Cleanse our souls and bodies from guilt. By the mystery of your incarnation, we are made your brothers and sisters. Do not let us become estranged from you. Do not judge harshly those you redeemed with such great cost. No age, O Christ, is without your goodness and holy riches. Enable us to merit the unfading crown of glory. For our students. For all those who have asked for our prayers, especially for all the sick. To Father John Therese and Brother Gabriel, Maria. Lord, to you we commend the souls of your departed servants. Having died to the world, may they be alive in you forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Stir, stir up in our hearts, O Lord, to make ready the paths of your only begotten Son, that through his coming, we may be found worthy to serve you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to you. God. May, may the divine assistance be always with us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Martyrology of December the 11th. The year of grace, 384, the heavenly birth of St. Damasus, Pope. He supported Peter, the patriarch of Alexandria, who had been driven from his see by heretics. He confided the Latin translation of the Bible to St. Jerome, and he developed the cult of the Roman martyrs by ornamenting their tombs with famous poetic inscriptions. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that there, there was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word Incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. 